Hi, Stephanie here from Simply On Demand, creative design coach, in other words, a Canva design coach. So on, the, on Canva Pro, we are able to re, uh, remove the background of a visual. Let's for argument's sake say this is the visual. We can remove the background in the app itself, but on the free version, not so much. So let me show you how to do that on the free version. I'm going to literally be sharing absolutely everything with you here. So let's do a screen share like this. So you're probably going to be able to see all of this. So what when we start, um, we start with creating a design. And I have already clicked on Instagram post. So we're going to go over to Instagram post simply just because Canva can sometimes be a little bit glitchy and slow when I am doing a live recording or not a live recording, a recording as such. So what we want to do is take a photograph like this and let's not do that. Let's fill the, the canvas completely like so. And let's see, no, let's do it the other way around where I started from. And let's just, I don't want to lose the, the edge on the side over there. So let's see if we do this and position it in the middle and center like that. So this is the Cosmos flower. Cosmos flower, in case you didn't know, is part of my brand. It's simplistic, it's fun, it's, um, it's really, it's striking. And that's what I'm, what, what I'm for. Okay, so now we cannot click on, well, we can click on edit image, but we cannot do the background remover. You can see the little crown over there. So now what I'll do is I will download this visual as it is. And I'm going to download it. See, I can't do any of this over here. So I'm literally just going to download it as a PNG, like so. And it's downloading. It's doing its thing. And it's downloaded. So now it's going over there. So I'm going to take my downloaded file and drag it into a, an explorer. From there, I'm going to go and open a um, website called remove.bg. Now, from for here, I am simply just going to drag the photograph from Explorer into the, let's just move this to the side, make it smaller, move it to the side so you can see what's happening. Drag it across and it says, drop image anywhere. So we are just going to drop it. And now remove.bg is uploading the visual. And that's what it looks like. So that's the original, but it's taken away the stem as well. And it's removed the background. Uh, the, so it's taken away the stem. So now what we do, let's see if we edit and um okay all right we can actually just place it on various backgrounds which is not really what we want to do but this is what we can do with it as well on remove.bg okay so let's see if we click erase restore what will happen um restore but we don't know where the stem is. And if I'm going to be clicking over here, it's going to, okay, so that's the stem sort of, no, not really. See what I'm doing over here? There's the stem only over there. So let's see if we erase. Now we can do that. But oops. That's not what we want to do. So let's just undo that, undo that, and let's keep it like that. Now what we do is we download the visual itself. It's in there. 
So we will just simply drag it down to our, when it wants to work. Let's do that and put it over there. It's uploading. <laughs> it's not doing it. See, this is the part of Canva, actually, of doing a, a tutorial that sometimes becomes a little bit a pain in the backside. So let's see if we do it over here and we drag it over there. Okay, in Firefox, you can drag it from the downloads right into the upload section over here. And let's see if it will upload. Yes, it is uploading. So that's easy enough. We don't have, we didn't even need to, to use that. So when we add a new page, that is going to be our visual. And the background perfectly removed, with the exception, obviously, of the stem itself. And that is how we remove a background. Let's stop sharing. That's how we remove a background in Canva Free that you can use then with any of your visuals. And let, let me, sorry, let me just share back again over there. Um, so now, if we were to change the background of that, click on the background image, and let's make it a light gray. And why did it do that? Oh, I know why I did that. Let's detach the image, click the background, and let's change it to a light gray. And now we can size it up. Okay, so let me show you what I did over there. So it's a little bit of a tutorial within a tutorial. I wanted to only change the background, but I had taken the, the visual and I dragged it across the whole screen, the whole canvas. And that means then it becomes the background. See, I can't even lift it up. So now what we do in order to lift it up, we right click on the visual and this menu comes up and simply detach image from background. And there your image is detached. But now it's it reverts back to um, its original, what it originally looks like, which is that one over there. So if we do that with this one, detach image from background, and it simply stays the way it was, which is different from there. All right, so right click on the image, especially if you've already fitted it across the whole canvas, right click, detach image from background, and there it's detached, and now you can move it around. All right. I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see. I haven't shared one of this like this in a while, and um, hopefully it's uh, beneficial to you. All the best. Take care. Bye.